If I had the choice of only picking a couple of different software platforms and knowing what I know now after publishing as long as I have, what platforms would they be and why? So in this uh, episode, what I'm going to do is cover a number of different software platforms that uh, are available that I use personally. But if I did have the choice and I only had the option of picking a couple of them, what would they be and why? My name's Romney, and thank you very much for joining me on my YouTube channel. What I want to do here is talk about uh, a couple of different platforms that I use, but ones that really have stood out to me that have made the biggest difference in regards to my journey on Amazon KDP. If money isn't an object and you can spend money on different platforms, then go for it. You can choose all of them and you can work through what is going to be working best for you. But if you're on a limited budget and you only have the option of choosing one, perhaps two, maximum three, what would those platforms be? So for me, I've used a number of different platforms over the journey. And there's a few that definitely stand out to me that if I had my time to gain, I would definitely reinvest money back into uh, getting those platforms up and going for me because they have made a significant difference to the way I've been able to publish, how I've been able to scale my publishing business, and also the revenue that's been generated from these platforms. So let me cover off, uh, let me go three platforms out of all of them that I do use that I would recommend if I was starting my journey again, but I had the knowledge that I do now. So my very first choice would probably be Canva. I choose Canva because it completely has revolutionized the way that I've been able to create books, that I've been able to create thumbnails, the way that I've been able to create like A plus content, uh, the way that I've been able to create content for social media. And the great thing is I was able to start on that platform for free and then I was able to scale up and get the uh, Canva Pro subscription when I was ready. And the moment that I made that investment of getting Canva Pro, things really turned around for me. Because it, what it did effectively mean that I was investing back into my business. I was investing in myself to grow the business. And although the cost of it is roughly $20 per month. That was nothing compared to the step up in revenue that I started to get when I actually started using Canva Pro. Now, Canva Pro has so many different features that I use, and I've created several different tutorials about Canva, the way that you can create book covers as well. And more recently, I've been using Canva, not outside of KDP, to create uh, presentations for courses that I've been making as well. So it hasn't just helped me with KDP, it's helped me with other elements of my business. So that would be number one. If I had a choice of picking one out of the many different platforms that are available, Canva would be my number one. And this is the main dashboard for Canva. Remember, you can get Canva for free or get the pro version. I provided a couple of different tutorials about using Canva for book cover design and interior design. So make sure you just check out the links below and that will provide further information for you. Number two, probably is a little bit harder to choose, but I think I, think I would go for BookBolt. And the reason why I choose BookBolt is it's got multiple different elements to it sorry, touch the mic, multiple different elements to it that would help me again to do niche research, keyword research, category research, and also help with my book covers. So it has a lot of different strings to its bow. It's not just a, a, a niche research software by itself. Um, it has a lot of different features to it that have actually helped me within the business. So I think BookBolt would be the next one that I would choose. Again, it's a it's a subscription model. It's roughly ten US dollars per month, but again, that ten dollars, it's the equivalent of having two coffees for the week. So it's not a big investment at all. And if you consider big investments for businesses, if you're wanting to run businesses, 
$10 per month is nothing. So I felt that that was a great investment for me moving forward with the business and it helps with so many different things. Now I have created a tutorial about BookBolt as well. Uh, so make sure you check out the description below and that just goes through a tutorial of BookBolt and the key features that you can use as part of that software. So that would be number two, BookBolt. So Canva number one and then BookBolt and I'll cover one more software or platform that I would use if I only had the choice of three that I would use when I'm first starting my Amazon KDP publishing business. Not to say there's other platforms that I would um, start to invest in later on, but I would probably definitely pick those two to begin with. So let's cover off number three. And this is BookBolt. So if you want to learn more about BookBolt and the tutorial, just make sure you check out the links below in the description and I'll go through a full tutorial about how to correctly use and best utilize BookBolt. So number three is a tight race between Publisher Rocket, Helium 10, and KD Spy. All those three have huge benefits and great advantages for having them. And if you can have all those together, then that's fantastic. But I know that when you're first starting out, you do have a limitation or most people have a limitation with what they can purchase. So I think I would probably go publish a rocket for the reason that it does have a great way of being able to research different books and provide categories and research on the categories. But what I do like about publish a rocket in particular is it's the a one-off payment therefore if you're considering a budget when you're first starting I like having a one-off payment therefore I know it's done I've got lifetime access to it and it's all done and dusted other models like Canva and BookBolt are subscription models I guess you can just stop when you don't want to use it anymore uh, and the risk is with publisher rocket you pay roughly 90 to 100 US dollars as a one-off payment for Publisher Rocket, no matter whether you use it once or a thousand times. But you could probably get a pretty good idea about Publisher Rocket if you watch my tutorial as well. That runs through everything about Publisher Rocket. And I'd suggest that would be my number three. And this is the main interface for Publisher Rocket. If you're interested in learning more about Publisher Rocket, just make sure you check out the link in the description below, and that will provide a full free tutorial about how to use Publisher Rocket most effectively. Uh, if I had a choice of just three that I was using to start off my journey, those would be the three. And yes, you could absolutely have an argument towards wanting to have Helium 10 or KD Spy in your top three, but this is just me personally and what's worked well for me. Uh, nothing, nothing against the other two, KD Spy and Helium 10. They're great software products as well. Helium 10 has got so many different features that you, that you use, but you tend to become loyal, I guess, to a particular software and you just use it a bit more. So I probably use BookBolt more than Helium 10 at this point in time in my publishing. And others might use more Helium 10 and not use BookBolt at all. Uh, but I do like those three that I've mentioned. Canva, BookBolt and Publisher Rocket would be, would be my top three for the moment. And therefore, they would be my recommendations. Uh, if you're looking to start your KDP publishing or you haven't got one of those three at this point in time, and you can therefore start to investigate whether that investment back into your business is going to be worthwhile. So I hope that helps you regarding my choices. Uh, again, you can choose what you want to. My advice would be to go for the platform that you feel most comfortable with, that you've had some experience with even at a free version level or even watch some tutorials and find out what it's like. I do know that Publisher Rocket and KD Spy do offer refunds uh, within a certain time frame, so you could always try it. If you don't like it, just request a refund and they'll happily do that for you. 
Uh, and then, as we mentioned, the subscription model is you have the ability to be able to stop the subscription immediately and then you don't have a payment after that. Uh, so anyway, they're my choices. Hopefully that helps. And thanks very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you like these, this information, this content, and I look forward to providing a new video soon. See ya.